Eggs when, when right. they arrive, that's an extra $10. Right. <laughs> exactly. Great. All right. Uh, what do you what do you folks at home think about this one? A woman in Tustin, California, her name's Karen Kelly, was told she either had to pay ten thousand dollars for her dog to have this emergency surgery after it was dragged under a car or otherwise she was going to face animal cruelty charges. And I call this case your money or your dog's life. And so Karen Kelly of Tustin, California, in the Orange County Superior Court in California, is bringing a lawsuit for civil extortion against the veterinarians because the veterinarians said to her when this dog was dying, put the dog to sleep, pay the $10,000 now, keep the critical dog in critical care overnight for $1,500, and if you don't do that, I'm going to turn you in to the authorities, and she was turned into the authorities. She was, uh, and she decided, I, I don't have $10,000. No. Uh, she asked a friend. A friend applied for credit at that place. They said no. A police officer Sorry. friend. Can you believe that? So anyway, there she was, and she said, I can't afford it, but I love my dog. I'm going to take the dog home tonight and take him to my vet tomorrow. The dog is still alive today. Mojo is still alive today, and now she is suing. And, Peter, does she have a good case? Oh, I think she, in my opinion, she's got a great, great case. Because you can't, anyone in this world can't say to someone, you give me money or I'm going to report something secret about you. I'm going to say that you did a crime. I'm going to cause you embarrassment or disgrace. And so I think it's smart in this particular case that she stood on her rights and she said, Listen, my dog was dying. I didn't have the money. I was trying to do the right thing. I went around and got credit yeah. and every other darn thing. But the pressure that you were putting on me, including saying you were going to go to the animal authorities, and they did, and they posted a big old sign on her door, and it was apparently dismissed. That's wrong, Tough in my spot view. Tough for, for yep. Karen and for, for Mojo, but a testament for all of us, get pet insurance. Have you had that too. kind of experience? Let us know. Well, your experience with, with dying uh, dogs and cats and your pets and what people have said that you had to do or how much you had to pay. All right. Uh, meantime, there's flooding all across the country right now. Maria Molina is... 34 minutes after the hour now. Uh, so this is something that's got a lot of people fired up on Facebook and Twitter. A lot of you at home. A woman says that she was accused of animal cruelty, and this was after her dog Mojo uh, had been been dragged by a car underneath it and needed some emergency surgery, and it was going to cost her some $10,000. It was money she didn't have. This was in uh, Tustin, California. And uh, so they said, you know what, either you pay us this money or we're going to have animal cruelty charges filed against you. And they did, right, Peter? They did. They said, pay the money. Give us $1,500 if you want to pay the $10,000. We can kill the dog. And on top of that, if you don't agree to any of these things, we're going to turn you in. And the animal police are going to come to your house. And they did. And here's the thing. Even though they said that, you, that your dog, Mojo, needed the emergency Mojo. surgery, uh, she took the dog home that night. And as it turns out, Mojo is alive to this day. TLC cured Mojo, not the 10,000. It does look like uh, perhaps it was a some sort of a shakedown. And so anyway, she is suing. That's what that she's alleging. Possible. That's right. So we asked you what you thought about it, and we got plenty of email. Meredith in Kentucky said, most veterinarians are very compassionate, and we practice high-quality medicine equal to that which humans receive in hospitals. That is absolutely true. Yeah, I've never been asked for $10,000 in an emergency room. I have been. You have? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, oh. A couple of years ago, our dog, Charlie. No, I mean human emergency rooms. Oh, I see. Yeah. Our dog, Charlie, though, uh, he got really sick, and we took him to the vet, uh -huh. and our vet said, you've got to take him to the special doctor. Yeah. We took him there, and they said, Charlie's got cancer. Uh -huh. uh, would you be willing to spend, I, I want to say, six or $8,000 to keep Charlie alive for another maybe two months, three months, four months, six months tops? And my wife and I looked at each other and said, yes. Yeah. But, wow. it wasn't, but, you were, but you weren't under the, under the gun. We weren't under the gun, yeah. but you're, you yeah. know, it pulls your heart strings. You want to keep, it, it's a family member. As it turns out, Charlie was too far gone and died the next day. But nonetheless, you know, if you don't have the money, you're You don't you're have the money. Yeah. yeah. Our viewer, Kathy, said this. Are people now being punished for having sick dogs? And Nancy, uh, another one of our viewers with us, Peter. A vet's job is to care for animals the best way they know how. Not worry about the owner's Finances. I guess the problem here was he wasn't worried about the owner's finances at all. Well, According to the lawsuit, they said, bring the money, we kill the dog, 
or I'll turn you in. Well, and you know, a lot of these veterinarians, they make money off of cutting on our animals because you make a lot more off that yeah. than, than, you know, given prescribing, you know, flea and tick medication for them. It actually happened story. to me right when I moved yep. to New York. Baxter I was, had knee problems, and I took them. They said it was going to be $10,000, two surgeries, no guarantee that it was going to yeah. work on his ACLs. And, um, and it, you know, I just opted not to do it. It, I don't have pet insurance and I don't have ten thousand dollars. And uh, you know what? He's fine. You saw Good. him out there. He's, he's, he's doing a great job. He's not going to be a football player any day, but he's doing all right. 